welcome to a quick video tutorial of Doodle 3D Transform. On your screen there are two sides. The left hand side, the green side, with the little tiny squares is where you're going to do all of your 3D creating. You're going to have a variety of tools to create the 3D project of your dreams. As you are drawing and creating on the left, the green side, at the same time on the right hand side, the pink side, is where you will see your design become 3D or three dimensional and pop out. You can't edit anything on the pink side. All your work will happen on the green side. So let's take a tour of the tools that you have available to you. Let's start with the drawing tools. First, you have the pencil, which makes skinny lines and any shape you would like. Next is the pen, and this draws perfect straight lines. Last is my favorite, the paintbrush, and this can draw chunky, thick lines with any shape you want. Change the colors of your paint brushes and pens using the drop in the middle of your screen. It won't be printed in that color, but it is fun to design in color. If you make any mistakes, you have a interesting rectangle at the bottom of the green side and you can erase one by one. Or if you tap the green paper in the top left of your screen, it will erase everything. You also have a stamping tool that will help you create perfect shapes of variety of sizes. You can have a star, you can have some fractions, you can have some squares, so play around with that as well. You can also fill in any of your shapes that have all the lines connected. When you tap on the paint bucket, you can fill in each shape with paint, and again, play around with that paint drop to change the colors. You can also move things around using that arrow tool. If you select different shapes, you can turn them, you can make them bigger and smaller. I like to call these the stretchy dots and the turning dot, the doorknob, will help it turn. This can also help you move shapes around if you need them in a different place. You can also use that arrow tool and select all of the shapes on your screen and move them together as a whole group. You can also move the whole group to be bigger or smaller, again, using those stretchy dots. You notice in the middle of the screen, there are different settings to play around with, and you can change where everything goes on your screen. Drawing numbers and letters can be a little bit tricky on this platform, but there is a tool to make it a lot easier. When you tap the little A at the bottom of the green side, you can type what you would like to say. When you use that arrow tool, you can select all of the letters and make the words and numbers a little bit bigger. You can also change the color as well using that paint drop. Last is a fun little feature that does take some practice and time, but definitely try it out. You can add in a picture that is from your camera roll or take a fresh new picture, then use the drawing tools and stamping tools to trace your design. I'm gonna try my best to trace the cute little big ears of my dog, Frederick, and I could even have a 3D printed model of his sweet little face. This is such a great app to get started with 3D printing, and you don't have to feel limited to any complicated tools. Play around with it, have fun, and have a cool 3D design.